So he's been doing this his entire career. This isn't anything new for Derek Chauvin. And Keep it 100, I be feeling like uh, Campbell soup over white rice. Uh, baked chicken with the skin on. Yeah, Lowry's with black pepper. I'm fully seasoned with that. What's good, number seven, it's your boy Dre, and welcome to my channel, keep it 100 Dre. So, the Department of Justice, they may bring additional charges to Derek Chauvin. And here's the reason why. In 2017, he held his knee on the neck and the back of a 14 year old boy for 17 minutes. Luckily, and somehow, this boy survived. Not many details have been released about the, the boy. Like, we don't know his name, but we do know a few things that happened. So there's a video of the incident, but it's just not, it hasn't been available to the public as of yet. So what this report says is that this 14-year-old boy didn't comply with Derek Chauvin's orders fast enough for his liking so Derek Chauvin hit the 14 year old boy. Of course, he's a black boy. I don't, I'm not sure if I said that already. He hit him in the head twice with the flashlight, grabbed him by his neck, threw him to the ground and knelt on his neck for 17 minutes. And his mom begged not to beg Derek Chauvin not to kill her son. And just like George Floyd, this boy was saying he couldn't breathe as well. So here's what's crazy about that. This, during the George Floyd trial, was not allowed to be submitted as evidence in that case, as well as his 22 other complaints and offenses. So there has been at least 22 in Derek Chauvin's 19 year career. There has been at least 22 complaints or internal investigations against him. And it only resulted in some form of discipline one time. That wasn't allowed to be submitted as evidence. Yet, his past couldn't be used against him. Yet George Floyd's past was brought up against him and used against him during the trial. But Kamala Harris somehow believes America is no longer a racist, a racist country. But, but that's another subject. So here's something that's very crazy to me. It's completely mind-blowing. It probably shouldn't be, but I was still floored by this fact. Derek Chauvin is just a second on-duty police officer in the state of Minnesota to ever be brought up on to be convicted of murder charges. And that's that's shocking because you think you think of cases like Philando Castile, which also happened in Minnesota, and then obviously Dante Wright, which happened recently. But there's been so many high profile cases of people being murdered in Minnesota, and Derek Chauvin is the first one to be brought up on charges. And the only reason why he was brought up on charges was because this was recorded on video. Because Derek Chauvin's police report completely differed to what actually took place and this is something that's common the police when they murder someone they lie about it all the time because they're trying to save their behinds and that's why that's part of the reason why many of them get off but also even though many times we see it's on video police murdering innocent people they get off because they have qualified immunity and that's something that needs to be needs to be gotten rid of it's complete nonsense but that's something i'm going to speak on in a video coming up that that i'm going to detail in an upcoming video so derek chauvin he's going to be sentenced on june 25th so what we do know is he's been convicted of three counts of murder but what we don't know is whether he's going to be convicted of what we don't know is what he's going to serve his sentences concurrently or consecutively. So that's something we'll find out on that day. And hopefully he also gets time for his previous offenses. We don't know if that will occur or not, but let's hope that's the case, especially with this case with this 14 year old boy that he knelt on for 17 minutes. 
So he's been doing this his entire career. This isn't anything new for Derek Chauvin. And he only got disciplined one time? Really? Crazy. So that's all I got to say for today. If you like the content, like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notifications so you know when I post videos in the future. But I got to leave you with one more thing before the video is over. And that's the word of the day. The word of the day for today is equanimity. Equanimity is spelled E-Q-U-A-N-I-M-I-T-Y. The definition of equanimity is mental or emotional stability or composure, especially under tension or strain. Calmness. So now I will attempt to use equanimity in a sentence. Equanimity seems foreign to Derek Chauvin and many other police officers. Hopefully I use that in the sentence correctly. So again, if you like the content, like and subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications so you know when I post videos in the future because YouTube will not show you my videos unless you do so. And use equanimity in a sentence in the comment section below so I know you watch the video to the end. So, again, I thank you for watching the video. 100% is peace. Well, I've been stacking up. Uh, nah, really, that ain't accurate. Cause I just spent my whole damn advance in the past couple months just to compensate for times we ain't have enough. Ooh.